Hello, back at Sidebar. We have Franny Lavar, and she is the Director of Sustainability and ESG at United Airlines. Um, I want to just go big in our first question for you, Franny. What does the future of sustainable flight look like? It's a great question, and it's certainly one I love to talk about. It's really what we're sort of focused on every day in our jobs. And I think when you get down to it, you know, we're an airline. Our job is to fly planes. Our job is to fly people around the world. So it's really about what we're flying and what we're flying on. And certainly the biggest critical lever for our success in reaching our decarbonization goals is sustainable aviation fuel. United, much like other airlines across the industry, have committed to being 20, being net zero by 2050. And for us, a massive part of that is sustainable aviation fuel, both utilization of the feedstocks like fats, oils, and greases that are in production today, uh, which are not nearly in the supply we need, and those future generations of SAF. It's also gonna be things like alternative propulsion for maybe some of those shorter haul flights, things like electric aircraft, hydrogen powered aircraft. But then it's really around sort of what are we doing in our ground operations? How are we looking holistically at our company to ensure that those support functions, those auxiliary functions are also paying attention to our impact and that we're engaging our customers in that. We're helping mm. them understand some sophisticated topics like sustainable aviation fuel, like the things that we're doing, why we're trying to do it, why it's important. Mm. I was reading about the Eco Skies Alliance. Yes. And um, we'd love just for you to share with the audience a bit about that and how corporations can get involved. Yeah, absolutely. It's actually um, a pleasure of mine to be able to support that program specifically. And so we launched it in 2021 uh, with a number of corporate partners. The intent being uh, we needed to get scrappy in COVID. We, you know, sustainable aviation fuel is two to four times as expensive as conventional jet fuel. And in COVID, when everybody's watching their, their pockets, we needed to figure out how to continue to advocate for the use of the fuel. And so we partnered with a number of corporate and cargo customers wherein they will pay the green premium for the sustainable aviation fuel. And in return, they're allocated scope three reductions to draw down their uh, business travel footprint. And so it's mutually beneficial. We're often working with companies that are like-minded, that have similar decarbonization goals, that are focused on um, looking for opportunities to further sustainable aviation fuel. Uh, it's been really successful. We've had about 40 customers now through three rounds, and we've seen year over year significant increase in the amount of SAF we've been able to produce. It's so exciting. It's so exciting. Of course, United and other airlines rely on your passengers, your customers to succeed. And I'm, I'm curious, how should companies, perhaps those who are part of the, the EcoSkies Alliance um, and those who might be um, out, just outside of that circle, how should we as the flying public be thinking about our frequent flying? Um, should we be... Um, should we be trying to reduce that given the emissions involved? Should we be sort of holding out this hope and, and trying to support SAF? How do we do that? You know, it's a great question and, and there's no easy answer. I mean, I think for so many people, travel, air travel in particular, is personal, it brings a connection. We all know what it was like during COVID when we missed that face-to-face -face time. This is different than being on the other side of a screen. There is always going to be a need for people to be together. Uh, it's also critical for a lot of companies' functions and for their business operations. And so certainly I don't think the answer is not flying. I think it's about thinking about how we can do it right. You know, the other thing is that when we think about sustainability, we also think about this connection between people and planet. And we think about sort of the need for diversity of thought, for diversity of engagement. Flying can help bridge those gaps between people. It can really sort of move people towards that inclusion, that notion of, you know, understanding different cultures, seeing different landscapes you would not otherwise have exposure to. I think it's critical on a number of different levels. And so in that respect, we need to be thinking about how can we be responsible? How can we be aware of the impact that we are flying for those choices? 
United has put emissions in the booking pass so that people have that awareness and also giving them an opportunity to contribute. Um, we've seen over 100,000 people just in the few months we've had the, the contribution option open. So we see that there is a real interest from our customers to participate in, and engage. It's so exciting as a flyer myself and inspiring to get to talk with you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for We've having me. We've been with Franny Lavar from United Airlines.